Hello everybody, this is Duda Ramon. Welcome to my channel. In this video, I'm going to benchmark Metro Last Light Redux on a single GTX 1070. This video is recorded with an external recorder at 60 frames per second. So what you will see in this video will be pure performance. No system resources are wasted whatsoever. I'm using a Core i5-2500 which is overclocked to 4.8 GHz there it is the system has 16 GB of RAM and the graphics card is a single GTX 1070 made by KFA2 it is the EX model the latest force were installed and I have done a slight overclock to 2 GHz. Uh, now for this benchmark I'm going to use the standalone benchmarking utility of uh, Metro Redux. It is the Metro Last Light Redux. It does not mention that on the uh, title. Anyhow, as you can see I have prepared uh, four presets this one preset 0 is the same I used on my GTX 970 benchmarking video uh, 1080p resolution very high no super sampling texture filtering maxed out motion blur at normal tessellation very high no v-sync of course and no advanced physics now uh, for all runs I have uh, set runs to 1 no need for more and the next preset I am enable advanced physics for the next I am enabling super sampling and disabling advanced physics and for the last one uh, everything is enabled super sampling and physics uh, this different uh, benchmarks uh, will uh, highlight different aspects of uh, the strengths and the weaknesses of the system so uh, let's start the benchmark
the long run has finally finished let's go first to uh, this result which is the only result that can be compared with my GTX 970 run I was getting 96 frames on the on the 970 so we have a performance increase of 41 frames per second and uh, let me take a look at the GPU usage for the first run we do have a slight uh, CPU limit as you can see in this uh, GPU usage graph in MSI Afterburner so maybe we could get another 5% uh, or something like that uh, with a better processor uh, now this is the first uh, benchmark, uh, benchmark result with uh, no super sampling and no uh, uh, no physics let me pause this here for a moment uh, this is the second result 122 uh, we do have a performance drop due to the advanced physics <coughs> The CPU limit uh, in this run is higher. We do know that uh, PhysX does have uh, an effect on uh, the CPU usage and consequently uh, on the GPU load. Third result is 140. Uh, sorry, what the hell am I looking at here? 122 yes uh, third result is 83 frames per second uh, this time we have maxed out GPU load because the third run has super sampling enabled and this one is, a, is the heaviest uh, graphical setting for this benchmark so uh, the GPU load is maxed out and the same goes for the fourth run which uh, is both with super sampling and uh, physics that's why uh, the difference is very small super sampling uh, is quite heavier than uh, physics in this uh, benchmark so we have essentially the same uh, performance so uh, to analyze a little further frame rate and frame times are quite good on all runs uh, unfortunately I do not have fraps data for this uh, benchmark I will stick with what uh, the built-in uh, uh, utility can give us the standalone utility can give us uh, of course we do have a performance hit when super sampling is enabled a considerable performance hit uh, actually without super sampling uh, the frame rate is about 50% higher but the game does look a little better uh, with super sampling which is to be expected uh, in the CPU usage graphs in MSI Afterburner we can uh, see why we have such CPU limits uh, CPU usage is very high on all cores quite well threaded engine and it is even worse when uh, PhysX is used on the second run without super sampling and this gives us a clear uh, CPU limit so this benchmark the second one should be the best one in order to uh, highlight CPU differences but the first one is not too bad either CPU temps are uh, decent, no problems. The D14 is a great CPU cooler, guys, and I'm uh, quite curious to see how it will fare on uh, the 1700X. RAM usage at four, close to 4 GB. The power of the card uh, also goes up in super sampling, uh, in the super sampled uh, runs. GPU temps are okay also, no problems here. 
The core clock of the video card is a 2 GHz but drops to uh, 1997 uh, quite often and even 1974 on the last run. Uh, this is the first time I am seeing such value due to which limit, voltage limit. Okay, still uh, it passes for a 2 GHz uh, benchmark, no problems. Video RAM usage is at 1 GB for the two first uh, runs and 1.3 uh, well, uh, for the super sampled ones. Very interesting stuff. I hope you find this uh, somewhat uh, interesting if you want and have this uh, benchmarking utility. Uh, inform me of uh, post a comment below of what kind of performance you are getting in either uh, one of these uh, runs uh, or all of them if you, if you have the time until then thank you very much for watching my friends I will see you in my next video